everyone, this is Mark and Mr. HurricaneTracker.com. We got an update for you, a major update for you on Hurricane Igor as it now becomes a major category four hurricane. So all eyes are tracking Hurricane Igor right now, with especially with Mr. HurricaneTracker.com. Right now, Hurricane Igor again is a major category four hurricane. This is an update as of 2:30 p.m. Atlantic Standard Time. As far as the Eastern Pacific goes, everything's pretty quiet today. This is your update as of September 12, 2010. Advisory number 18 from the National Hurricane Center. I'm going to go ahead and post on the top left, top right hand side of your screen again some images of the spaghetti models and the path and strength of the storm. So, right now, the category 4 hurricane Igor is moving west at 12 knots or 14 miles per hour. Its minimum central pressure is 950 millibars. And if you're tracking it with MrHurricaneTracker.com, it's 17.7 north and 46.1 west. So we're continuing to track it as it continues to move west. Now in a couple of days from now, it could change its track to move west, northwest. And again, that's all depending on the high and low pressures and also the wind shear. So we're going to continue to keep an eye on that, but it seems to be continuing to stay on that westward path. So we'll continue to keep an eye on that, keep you updated, especially for those of you in South Carolina, North Carolina, that's already gotten hit by Earl. This storm system looking like it's going to continue to make a path such as Earl did. So we'll continue to keep a major eye on that since it is a Category 4 hurricane right now. So we got Hurricane Igor is a Category 4, it continues to move west. So we'll keep an eye on that for you. We also have a new Tropical Depression 12 that formed right here off the Af African coast. And it's going to be an update as of 2 p.m. today, Atlantic Standard Time, advisory number 1 alpha. The max sustained winds of the storm are 30 knots or 35 miles per hour. Its minimum central pressure is 1,006 millibars. And its location, if you're tracking it with us, 13.1 north, 22.2 west. And its movement is west-northwest at 12 knots or 14 miles per hour. So it's going to continue to move on a west-northwest position. It may be stay out of the way. But as you see here, there's the models up on the top left and also the strengthening and the path of the storm. So we're going to continue to keep you posted as, again, that could change with the wind shear, the highs and lows, and since it's too far away to tell where that storm may head, it's really far away and it's going to be something that we're going to have to keep a close eye on. We we'll also have a storm system out here in the Caribbean that's continuing to move west and we'll see some gradual development of this as it moves over land and dissipation as it moves over land and continues to move on that westward position and possibly change its track as well. Now it's going to have life-threatening flooding in Puerto Rico and uh, Hispaniola area. Places such as that need to be concerned because the life-threatening flooding will continue as it moves westward at 10 to 15 knots or 10 to 15 miles per hour. Uh, and it continues to have a chance, a medium chance of 50% of developing into a tropical depression. So we'll continue to keep you posted and that's actually moving 10 to 15 miles per hour. I wanted to correct myself there. And again, it's gonna to continue to move on off. And once it moves out into the water again, it will have a better chance of redeveloping but it's going to continue to pass through some of these islands here and affect these areas with major flooding and heavy rains. And these models do indicate, as you see here on the top left, or top right hand corner, I'm sorry, I'm going to put this up on the top right hand corner, as you see here, where the model indicates that the storm will continue to move west and continue to move on over the islands here and also possibly hit the areas of Mexico, maybe South Texas, depending on the time and depending on, again, the models of the wind shear and also the high and low pressures and where this storm could, continues to move. But it looks like these storms have a westward movement and so does uh, Hurricane Igor. So we're going to keep a very close eye on Hurricane Igor and continue to bring you updates from the National Hurricane Center. So please subscribe to get the latest updates right here on YouTube. And again, it's youtube.com slash Mr. Hurricane Tracker. Also on MrHurricaneTracker.com. In fact, you get the latest satellite imagery from MrHurricaneTracker.com. And we'll bring an updated satellite imagery from MrHurricaneTracker.com on the very front page, page showing Hurricane Igor. This is a very nice image of Hurricane Igor. You can even go here and click on Zoom and zoom in on the storm and take a nice look at it. As you see, it's very well defined eye there. You can track it right there with us on MrHurricaneTracker.com and get the latest satellite imagery. Also, I'm going to go down here and show you I have the images off the South African coast that we have. We currently are watching, especially with tropical depression number 12. There it is right there. 
These are images right off the front page of MrHurricaneTracker.com. must have your JavaScript enabled to view these images. And if you don't, just go to Java.com and download that. So once again, we got Hurricane Igor as a major Category 4. We're going to continue to keep you posted. Please stand by. Please rate, subscribe, and comment. And have a great day.